Welcome everybody to episode 328 of House and Garden Flipper. We are, we're heading into a new house today. Oh man. Okay, I'm not sure what I want to do now. Let us perhaps finish off. Uh, see, I could take my office back to here. Or actually we could just get to work on this semi-detached house and completely ignore our buyers. Yeah, let's do that. I've been wanting to get into this for a bit. Alrighty, I guess we're not going anywhere. Oh, let's have a look around. Wow, there are. There's a lot of pretty good stuff here, isn't there? Alrighty. I was going to say who's at the top of our list, but uh, I'm doing it blind, so I guess we'll we get to do this how exactly how we want to do it. This is what we've got to work with. It's a semi-detached, so we get this side. And upstairs, I don't remember this house. I really don't remember it. It's, I mean, it looks familiar. There's a lot of components that remind me of the other houses. Oh, I remember this house. This is the house with the young couple and the kid. That's right. And and the, the, the dad was staying home. Do, do we get to remodel the other side with it? Oh, we do. Yeah, it's it's not it's not familiar. This 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 house is not familiar to me. All right, maybe I don't know. It it's ringing bells, but yeah, okay. That's all right. Head like a sieve today. You know how it is. Look at that. I just don't remember this. I suppose, seeing as we're up here, we could just... Actually, we should be looking at the garden first while the daylight's running. Let's do that. All right, so this is what we've got to work with. We can't really sell it to two. Oh, I should probably try and find the back door, shouldn't I? It's somewhere in here. Oh, no, I remember this. Okay, we're good. No, I don't. <laughs> I know, remember it, don't remember it, make up your mind. All right, well, what sort of a garden can we have here? This is like, it's it's a really good space for, we could put the kids set here, and if we did that, we could, we could, I mean, it's in there. So there's either a perfect pantry or a psychomantium. So, I mean, we could... We could make it for like, I mean, psychomantium. How many rooms have we got? We got a ton here, haven't we? So it's definitely not for the Gentarts because they don't like they don't like multiple rooms. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. Five. So really, we, we've got about three bathroom spaces if we want to go that way. And one. So you could have two, two bedrooms and two en suites here. And then downstairs, you could have... You know, if you, if you took out this and took out this, uh, you could have a living room kitchenette. So I'm I'm thinking maybe we'll go for the real estate agent because you've got two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and then down here you can have a living room kitchenette. I'm very tempted to keep that as a psychomantium, but we could take it out. Actually, we could take all of these internal walls out. And just have a massive, oh no, except for that. But we can have a pretty massive space um, in, well, not massive, but big enough. So living room, kitchenette, actually, 
that would be a sauna. And then you could have a pool in the backyard. So you could put your... No, see, it's a little bit awkward for a sauna. Maybe not a sauna on this side. So living room, kitchenette on this side. Two bedrooms upstairs. Connecting door. And then, and then here... Actually, why do a connecting door? You could just... Uh, I don't know. You could do another living room, kitchenette, I suppose. All right, see, so this would make a better sauna. And we could... Except that opens right outside. So, okay. So you'd put a little hole there. You'd put a doorway here. You'd have a sauna here. Um, I would put... You could put... The stairs are awkward. You put a wall down in there and then have like another bathroom here. You've got two bedrooms, two bathrooms on the other side. And then up in here you've got one bedroom. Let's see, I mean they're fairly sizable bedrooms. And then you've got a bathroom, so that could be another ensuite. And then you've got this room here. I would make that an ensuite. We could, we could extend that wall across, take that wall out and then turn this into an ensuite as well. So, okay, so two bedrooms, two bathrooms here. So that's four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Uh, and if we put a sauna downstairs, So make this kind of like put put a doorway here, put a big bathroom thing here with you know a couple of showers and some toilets and some sinks for like um like the the clean room for a sauna. Except then where would we put the sauna? I would say we could just turn this entire space here into a massive sauna. But then these guys, I kind of know. We'll stick this as being the sauna. We'll put the bathroom here. We'll put another wall here and we'll have a really small um, living room space there. Alrighty. And then we'll have our two bedrooms upstairs. Actually, it won't be a really small living space. We'll take that entire wall out. So, so what we'll have is we'll have a massive downstairs room, uh, living room, kitchenette. All right, that'll do. Which means if we're going to do that... We're going to have a shared pool area out here. Can I sell? Yes, I can sell this fence line. Okay, they're not semi-detached anymore. We'll get rid of the bushes. We're going to do an American garden so that the um, the sauna can open up into an entertainment space. We're going to have a bit of a, um, a living room. Oh, not living room. A bit of a, a living area outside. So we'll have a pool and a gym area and maybe a small eating area and that will take care of this. I can sell that. Awesome. Alrighty. So now we just need to clean it up. We know what we're going to do. We're going to actually aim this one for the real estate agent. We'll see how well we go blind. Um, and uh, if, I, if I can't nail him down, we might, we might see what we need to tweak. But... Uh, the layout will be real estate agent, four bedrooms, sauna. So the student won't like it because because he's not fond of saunas. I think if I remember rightly about the um, the American Garden, it's it's pine trees. And low maintenance. Oh, sorry, neighbours. So the the yard shouldn't take too long. Then, in that case, we'll we'll put our low growers out the front. We'll put in some gravel, and we'll put in um, our low growing. Sorry, our low growing pine trees out the front. We'll put in some gravel and we'll put in uh, some paths. Oops. 
I have to just get rid of these. And that should that should take care of all of that. All right, we've got a plan now. Oh my, my goodness, it's probably one of the quickest plans I've come up with in a while. I know it's not really coming up as dirty on the um, map. Ah, but it was. Look at that. All right. So my mini map for some reason doesn't seem to be showing me all the dirt. Why not? All right, well, we'll just have to be careful about what we don't wash then. Maybe that's what was happening in the other ones. I was missing patches because I was relying too much on the minimap. I do have everything up unlocked though, don't I? Perks. See some, see all the dirt. See, I should see all the dirt. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sure we'll work it out. Alrighty. I mean, it's pretty clear where it's not clean. I don't think that showed up either. So it doesn't seem to be showing me the... Or maybe it's just a bit of a bug. It'll get over it. Okay. Well. Alright. Uh, okay, so the sauna's going to exit here. So this is where we're going to want our pool. Let's, um, I know, I'm just trying to work out exactly, exactly what. We'll keep the bricks, because that's kind of cute. And we'll keep the, the, I can't think, I don't think I can sell the pillars anyway. Uh, let us sell these. Because we'll, we'll change up the, we'll change up the concrete out here. And it'll look, so it looks pretty. Okay. Well, there's a start uh, and I guess so what we might do is we might put the exercise area here we'll put the pool area here and we'll put the eating area seeing as the kitchen is going to be just in here we'll put the eating area here that'll that'll make a bit of that'll make it work uh, I know this is the bit that makes me wince though so I'm going to kill a ton of grass and it's hard enough to make what water decorations no it's not a water decoration where do i find it recreation no okay let's just put in pool it's under structures okay i know i'm forgetting where things go creas with the concrete slab mill line with the concrete slab so that would have blended with the slabs we already had let's just grab this there we go Double T bricks. We haven't done those in a while. Um, I just need to see what colour our house is and maybe we can match in the bricks. There we go. Just put it to one side so we can see it out the edge of the, the map. So grey, maybe not. Red's kind of aggressive. We've used it before though. Beige. Beige is meh, but it's okay. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't think anything really suits it. We might... Let's... I don't know if I want brown. Yeah, all right. Let's... Because I don't normally use brown, let's use brown. Okay. It's kind of more red than brown, isn't it? That's okay. Let me just go this way. I oh, know we're not putting it in the house. It's all good. Uh, we're going to put shift and shift and uh, mouse wheel. We might put it right there. Let's plant it. Yes. Oh, the hole is dug. I know. That's like, I'm like, where's my shovel? The shovel left because it wasn't needed. Okay. Well, let's go. Brilliant. All done. Alright. What we're using? We used 
the double T bricks. Okay, so that makes it easy to work out what we're going to put down for our... Um, I know, when I go back to surfaces, we're going to go to our paving slabs. We're going to go to double T bricks somewhere in here. There we go, so double T. That's pretty too, but we use these ones. Uh, we're going to go with our brown. We're going to edge it in. I'd like to reverse that, but anyway. Uh, no. Okay, I think we're really stuck with the orange as the outline. Let's go. We are making, making trouble. So we might get a bit of our paving done today, maybe. I'm probably going to have to use some kind of red gravel in the gaps there. We'll see. All right, that's right. We cannot pave around um, under the poles. I've got to remember that. get these to match up if we can. Oops. All right, I may have a little bit of graveling around the edge of my pool. Not sure that's a great idea, but it's, I don't know, it'll be fine. We'll work it out. I know, I've got the wobbles up this morning. We might be able to fit a, um, a 25 by something, a 25 slab in there. See how it goes. So I'm just going to outline the pool area. Uh, we're going to not pave all the way down to the exercise area. We might put some gym turf or something underneath it. Yeah, let's... I know, I'm going to have to approach this a little bit differently. Usually what I do is I take the pavers out from the um, from the pool and not from the not from the um, the house, but today I, I chose to do it slightly differently. You know, I think we'll have a slightly wider garden there. That'll be fine. Yeah. So I don't know how much of the paving will get done before before the sun goes down, but we'll we'll push it until we can get uh, until we can get it done. see how it goes. Oops. I know. It helps if I just... Just work it through. So I'm, I'm of two minds. Whether or not I, um, I try and sell my, my smallest office ever and, uh, and move into one of the big ones. Whether or not I uh, I just work on the big the big houses and work my way through those. All right, I think we'll leave that just there. And what we're going to do is bring bring this over. I still haven't got a proper picture in my head. I'll put some gravel down under where that downpipe is rather than have it flow across the pavers. Maybe dig a bit of a trench and fill it. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I guess we'll find out. Bring it this way. Bring this in. Yeah. 
Oh, that is so good. All right, I didn't didn't know if that was going to actually fit nicely up against the house in this area. But um, I was hoping because what I want is for this little area here to maybe be like a dining nook or even just a little sitting area that we can put in. I know I think I botched that one, I moused it in. Just back it up a bit. Gonna have to line it up on the far edge. Not sure what's going on there. It's having a hissy. That's what it's doing. All right, we'll just leave that for the minute, and we'll fit this one in as flush as we can. Just I think just because the computer's having a bit of a hard time for some reason. No, only two. Oh, because I already had one down. Oh, well, that would explain it. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's go. We've got a little bit more daylight to go, so we might as well finish this part of our sketch. Oh, no, we're sketching with pavers. It's, it's sketching as an extreme sport. Can you imagine actually doing this physically, though? That would be... You would develop some muscle power. First, draw your outline in dark papers. You know what? We should do that with a house. We should put some kind of mural out in the lawn um, made up of pavers. That'd be fun. Maybe at like a bird or a... I don't know if we could do do like an imitation of the... Um, ever heard of the, the chalk horse on, on the hills in England? get the proper name for it I am a barbarian but um, that would be interesting you could do just about anything you could have like a Viking kind of design in the backyard with your pavers all right it's not perfectly perfect over here and I'm gonna try very hard not to let that bother me too much probably gonna fail but um, that's okay you never know till you try. And it does look like it's getting dark enough for me to head inside. So we'll do that as soon as I get this last paver down in here. And we might go on a bit of a selling and cleaning spree. Hopefully there are lights I can use. I sold that door, didn't I? Yeah, the zombies really are going to get me. Alrighty. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a, what do I call it, a sauna, and I'm going to need to put some walls in. We might go through it one little space at a time. I mean, that would work as well. One day I should just do a series where I do exactly what's in the houses, just to see which buyer they would have suited if I'd left them alone. I don't know how interesting that would be, though. You know, once, once they're all cleaned up and everything's replaced... I am kind of curious, I have to admit. Uh, let me just... I think that's in line. Okay, yeah, so I can... I can put one pillar on either side of the door if I do it that way. I wasn't sure um if it was if it would work but it looks like it will there we go pretty okay so all of that's done i know i keep looking for the buyers but uh, they're not there which is a good thing we've got brown on brown outside what sort of doors do you think I mean, I'm partial to the cameo, but that's just me. We've used them for a few. So, I mean, if we used... And the Nellis is really pretty. You know, except for the fact it would need to be reinforced glass. These are all front doors. There's, there's no real back door. 
Um, I mean, I could probably use the, the Werus for a back door. Let's do that. And I think we'll match it more to the interior than the exterior. So the sauna is going to be... Let's just go to accessories and we'll go to sauna. All right, so we've got a number of shades of wood we can use. It's a small sauna, so we don't want to use anything too dark. So we're probably looking at that or that. Yeah. Um, I'm actually really tempted just to go with the light colored, the beach all the way through. So if we did beach, then we're going to be using a pale pine floor. So we'll grab floor panels, grab our pine, grab our by many. Now we might as well lay all of this. That light is really shonky, isn't it? Alrighty. And then I guess. I think I'm just going to paint this a pale pale color maybe a white or a silver gray or possibly a lemon because lemon lemon goes well with the pale pine okay so that gives us the color scheme we're going to be trying to match our door to so we can match our door to the outside or we can match it to the inside now, I'm actually going to go for matching it to the inside let's um let's go with one of our we'll pretend these are solid core outdoor doors except they don't really give me a color do we we can do the same for these internals. Might go with that. I like the colour on it too. So what colour am I doing? Spruce. There's nothing really... Yeah, no, we'll be sticking... Ugh. Yeah, we'll stick with the spruce because it's nicer. And what we'll do is we'll just, because it's an outside door, we'll, we'll make all those panels solid. All right. So this will be a back door as opposed to an internal door. Like I said, we'll just pretend it's solid core. It'll be fine. I think I just misplaced it. No, it looks okay. All righty. Uh, lighting. I haven't decided on a um, on a light style yet, so we'll just we'll just have a look. I mean, they've got I think they've got the ball lamps in at the moment, but they're not giving a lot of light. The ceiling lamps. That's I mean that works fairly well. It's fairly bright too. We could just go with your halogens because they're cheaper. That would appeal to the real estate agent actually. Uh, but would it give us enough light in this area? And it'd be cheaper to run for the householder too. Let's have a look and see what it does. Of course, it might help if I um, if I put a light switch in here. Because it's not going to work very well otherwise. We'll go with your standards. Pop that there. Turn the light on. It'll do. Now, I know this, this slide is driving me crazy. So first I think we need the paneling. Okay, we need to paint in here. Let's just go with our plain old lemon on the walls. It's a bit yellow though, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, we get a crisp look with the, the cream is, is not bad. Biscuit beige, white is the cheapest, of course. Let's actually, you know what, let's play with this. Let's go with our white. Like I said, if we're going to aim it at the real estate agent, then um, then for him, cost is a major, major, major factor. But I don't want to go too cheap and end up with something that I don't like. So I know we're going to have to balance it between his, his cost-loving, his cost-cutting measures and our, and our aesthetics. 
we may end up selling it to someone completely different yet. It should be interesting to discover who. Let me just go out this way. I'm just painting under the door frame. I wonder if I can panel that with brick. Let me just check that. No, no, it would be it would be walls. Uh, panels. And I should have haha bright brick. I think I think we've got bright brick on the outside. I know, technically I'm I'm not out here, but let's just get those done. And we'll just pop these down here. Alright, and if we position the door right, we shouldn't be able to see the brick. No, there we go. Alrighty, so now our customers will be happy because we've got all of that painted and bricked. We have our relatively cheap light on. That's all good. Now, this is a sauna, so we probably need sauna lights to brighten it up. Before we do that though, we might just put in our wall panels, get those over and done with. I want the walls slightly darker than the... I mean, in the old days, when we didn't have this really wide variety of panels, I would go with the bright. I'm just wondering if they're better than the, than the light. I mean, I like the vapor wood too, that's really pretty, but it's a bit dark. So we're either going to use this, just pop that down there, or we're going to use this. Let's have a look. And I don't know if there's any actual difference in them. Well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Let's put up a couple over here. And then we just stack them. I can stack them. Look at that. Oops. No, no, no. What are you doing? It's left click. All right. There's a really minor difference. It's tiny. Uh, and whatever this pile is, is the pile I want. I just can't remember if it's bright or light. I think it's light. Maybe. No, I like, wait, I can't. Okay, yep. Yeah. So it's bright because we used medium panels for the light. Alrighty, that solves that problem really well. Let us get some more bright and I might have to turn my flashlight back on. Except I found it a bit too bright, if that makes any sense. Uh, now, the way we'll tell if we've done a patch in that is that it'll light up. Like I said, there's almost no difference. Almost. Oh, maybe I did it the other way around. Give me a minute. We'll work it out. Because if if it's the same as what I had, yeah, it'll stack. Oh, I bought the wrong ones. <laughs> well, that'll teach me. Okay, now that we've worked out what panels we're actually using. Oh, I still cannot see the difference. That's okay. <laughs> we're all good. So this shouldn't take too long to do up. We'll uh, we'll work our way through. 
Not sure we'll get a sauna done by the end of the day, but we will we will come pretty close to it. Yeah, we should get a sauna done by the end of the day. So we'll get the panels up and then we'll put the um then we'll put the sauna panels in as well. Or the sauna lights in and that should help us of course the ironic thing is is it'll probably be daylight by the time i get to the lights which is oh well that'll be fine the garden's not going to take well famous last words but i don't think it'll take that long to do we'll probably be doing plenty of house uh well after we finish the garden i know saunas don't normally have windows but i can't take these out so we're just going to have to live with uh having windows in and we'll just pretend that they're really really specifically insulated windows and I'm going to put wooden blinds over them to help that uh, happen a little bit better wow okay these windows are not well fitted Okay, so that's all of that done. Alrighty, I might as well do it over here just because I can. Fini, yeah, well done. Let's just switch this way. We'll grab those out. Grab this. Grab this. Head back this way. Go to floor. Go to panels. Grab our pine. Ah, oh, oops. Alrighty. That's that. So we are going to do a sauna door this way. It comes with the, the base set, the sauna door, so that's actually we'll, we'll get to because then I can do the other one while I'm at it. And we'll pop that over there. Huh, annoying. All right, fine, I need my sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, let's take that one out. I, I didn't check to see how wide the door was. I should have. There we go. And then we'll go back in here. We'll grab our light colored and we'll grab one package. Every time I do this, there's always something <laughs> that means I've got to go back to the tiles. You think, you'd think after I don't know how many houses that I would, um, I would have learnt. There we go. Let's drop that down. Okay, what have we got? Being bad at being with that. All right. We go with our windows. Take that around. We might just grab our mountable window blind. Now we're going to do beach, I think spruce, elm, elm is nice, and cedar. Okay, we might go with the elm and we might do our details in, in light brown. There we go. We'll just buy a few of these and get them up. I know. The, um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this house goes. Um, but I have to say, it's nice to not have the buyers <laughs> in the background at the moment. Later I'll want their, their opinion, but uh, just while I'm developing, it's really nice to just be able to focus on what the house is doing uh, itself. 
the risk, of course, is that you won't notice when you upset a particular buyer if you're aiming for them. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I know the requirements well enough now that maybe, maybe playing chicken with the um, with getting it perfect is is not a bad way to go. Well, let's get the uh, the sauna the sauna lights up. I think those are under lights and not under sauna, and they're wall lamps. Alrighty. We might stick with that, that colour. You can get some interesting variations if you want to play with the colours. Um, but we'll, we'll just go with plain on plain. There we go. And we'll just poke them. Oh, okay, I'm not far. I'm not close enough. That's what the problem is. So this switch, yeah, see that would have been much better to work to. I'm going to put another switch over here as well because switches uh, on either side of the room tend to be helpful. Alrighty. All right, so there's our base. Now I just got to work out where everything is going to go. So I think we need probably a wall of seats here. And they can be maybe two tiers. And then over here we'll have a single tier of seats. Yeah, I think I'll stick with a single tier all the way around. So let's let's get that going. Uh, sauna seats. I think it comes under accessories and under sauna. And the lights, as you can see, the lights are only in the other area. Alrighty, let's go with our sauna benches. We are going to go with probably our beach. Actually, let's have a look and just see. There's our beach contrast. Pop that down there. And let's grab our light contrast. Ooh, I actually like the light better than the beach. Alrighty, this is why we check out what we think we like. Just in case it's not what we think we like. Haha, <laughs> that made no sense. Alrighty, let's get these in. Two. Ah, oh, that's annoying. How am I going to fix that? Uh, I don't know. It's a puzzle box. Let's grab our end pieces. The problem is, is that these end pieces, two of them equal one of the main ones. So what I might need to do is maybe, and the rooms are never perfect, uh, because I mean basically we're changing the function of the room, so we shouldn't be surprised if not everything works the way we think it should. There we go. That still looks tidy, which means I can probably pull that one out of there for the minute, and we'll grab some of these bigger ones and pop them in. There we go. I think that's probably going to end up being two end pieces over there. I know, it just takes a little, it's like a, a, a hole, if you like Tetris. Building saunas kind of like that at least in this game here we go except the bricks aren't going to fall on you and explode which is kind of good I mean no builder wants that right there we are so there's our single tier oh, sorry our... we were going to make it a single tier weren't we oh I'm a dope all right, in which case we don't want any of these here. They go over here. Because the windows, you did having a double tier under the windows. It would work though, wouldn't it? It 
except that you bump on the ledge. Alright, let's just leave this as a single tier like we planned. And we'll just go back to our double tier over here. Plenty of room for people to spread out in the sauna. Um, and while a double thing would have fitted here, it wouldn't have had a nice end on it. So that's why we're putting two singles in there. Uh, let's just put those over there as a reminder. I'm actually tempted to maybe just put an end one here rather, rather than a, um, a long one and then a short one. Let's see how they fit. See, because this will get in the way of the door. Yeah, okay, so we might just stack that one. Actually, no, we won't. We'll stick it here. There we go. Grab this one. So we can put two there, but not a long and, and, and a short. Let's try that. There we go. Alrighty. Let's go with a couple more of these. So I'm going to want to have another two of the short ones and another two. Yep, and another two short ones there. This is probably a really good exercise in how not to build a sauna. Why is that not fitting? Actually, probably won't fit while I'm standing over it either. See, technically that should fit right there. All right, it's not going to, so we're going to try something slightly different. We'll put it up here, and then we'll put this one. See, it works this way. I don't know what's wrong with it the other way, but it didn't like it, so that's fine. Put that in there. Okay. I know, I've, I've lost the plot. Grab this, grab our by many. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. Almost looks like a bought one. Okay. I'm going to put a bucket accessory in there. We might actually put a couple and we'll put one here. And I think I'm going to tuck one down here in this little handy pocket that we've got. Mm, or not, I might just put it there. Alrighty, so we have one at either end of the room. We're probably going to want that oblong sauna heater thing that we saw before. So maybe the sear. And we'll pop it in the middle because it seems to fit. And uh, then we're probably going to want some temperature gauges uh, and timers. And we might put a couple of timers in just so people can see them from different parts of the room. So I'll put one over here for all the folks on that side. And I'll put one over here for all the folks on the other side. Actually, why don't we just grab that and we'll put it above the light switch. There we go. Uh, we might want a hyd hydrometer. Where is it? Thermo. I'll get there eventually. Thermo hygrometer. Alrighty, let's put that on the wall there. What else do we need? Probably some sauna pillows. That would help. Let's grab those. Uh, maybe up here. I'll just... Which one's longer? Okay, so we'll put this one up against here. And then we'll pivot that one and put it here. And we will not have a pillow there, but we'll put a pillow for whoever's on this length. And then we'll do the same here, but I don't think it matters which way. All right, and now 
I think we need some towels. I'm not sure if, do you, would you, I suppose you'd put the towels in the sauna area, wouldn't you? They might get damp though. Then again, if you're using them to wipe your face, um, they don't stack? No, they don't stack. Okay. Or, or wrap around yourself, that would make sense, wouldn't it? That is our sauna. We've got our lights, we've got our sauna heater, we've got our timers. I'm just trying to work out what I might have forgotten, but I, I don't think we've forgotten anything really. So I think on that note, we're going to call this episode here. Thank you so much for hanging with me. If you enjoyed it, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there. <laughs>